Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're here because you are tired of cables and wires hanging off your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or whatever MacBook or whatever laptop you're using for that matter, if you use an external hard drive like I do with a dongle, dongle is such a weird, funny word. Dongle. Dongle. Anyway, if you're here because you want to clean up your workspace environment, if you're here because you want to clean up your life, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how you can clean up all the cables in your life. Let's get into it. A couple of things you're going to need. These are picture hanging strips that I got from my local hardware store, b and I'm sure you can find them at Michael's or Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever. It doesn't matter. As long as they're sticky on one side and Velcro on the other. I wonder how many people just close this video right now. It's all love. You're going to need a scissors. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser because we're going to draw on the back of our laptop to mark out where we want to put the hard drive and a dongle and then we can erase that line when we're finished and it's all centered up yeah i think that's i think that's all we need let's do it all right jumping straight in t is optional but highly recommended step one is placement now this seems pretty obvious but there is definitely a right way and a wrong way to do the placement ideally you do not want any cables hanging like this, all loosey-goosey. You don't want cables that are too slack, getting caught in stuff. Also, try not to have your USB sticks hanging over the edge, like this. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. Step 2. Make your mark. Once you're happy with the placement, grab a pencil and gently mark on your laptop where you want your guidelines to be. We're going to use these in a minute. You can use a level if you want to get these perfectly straight. I just eyeballed them for now. I can always go back and correct it if they're really crooked, but I think they look good. Step 3. Stick them up. Make sure your surfaces are clean, then grab your picture hanging strips. So with this particular strip, medium holds up to 12 pounds and the large holds up to 16 pounds, which is more than enough. I'm going to use three on the back of the external hard drive, which is plenty. The reason we're using Velcro instead of just using like a double-sided sticky tape is because we want to be able to take off this hard drive if we need it somewhere else or if you have multiple hard drives you can have Velcro on all of them and be able to kind of just like interchange them as you need them. Here's a little hack that my wife taught me. Instead of putting the receiving strips directly onto the laptop, what we're going to do is put them onto the strips we've already put on the external hard drive, Velcro side down, like so. Then we peel off the sticky backs. Next, we line it up with our guidelines. Boom, done. That hack is genius. So now all you gotta do is repeat this process with the USB hub and you're all set.
So my friends, that's today's video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button below. I'll be doing more tutorials like this in the future, so uh, I'll see you then.